<laughs> what is an icy? Is it like a slushy? And we're right. back, guys. I'm Hugo. Lisa. And Elise. We're back to watch some Indian jokes only by Nimesh Patel. He's one of my favorite comedians currently. He's becoming a little bigger. He was on Joe Rogan, so to me, that's pretty much as... That's in game. As big as it gets, yeah. I guess, uh, in terms mm. of interview-wise. Uh, very excited to see this. I haven't heard it just because I wanted to watch it here. I skipped this one on purpose. I've heard a lot of his jokes, though. It'd be cool to meet him one day because I am kind of like a really low-aspiring comedian, and I love comedy. It's my, it's my passion. All right, guys. <laughs> Anyone else got anything? Last night I was I was la laughing so hard that I couldn't breathe. I was joke. like, Hugo, oh, stop talking or I'm going to die. <laughs> and I was I was like, what looks if, dude, if I kill you from laughing, I was like, it's next level. I mean, it is nice to be able to laugh like that, but yeah. it was like rough. I was like, you gotta stop. When you told the last thing, like when we were talking about it, yeah, it like hurt. I was laughing so hard. Yeah, it, but now, now that I know I have kids following my channel, I gotta watch what I say about school. So true that. Yeah. True <laughs> that. That's Wise on Patreon. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> guys, Unless they're also on Patreon. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum, bum. Guys, check out our Patreon. It's the best way to support <laughs> yeah. us. Uh, there's also a YouTube option for memberships for those who don't don't want to go the Patreon route. Uh, there's some emojis and some milestone badges. And also, uncuts. Uncuts yes. as well. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get started. Hit the like button for us, please. <coughs> Thank you. Sorry. Every Columbus Day, I try to steal some land from some Native Americans. <laughs> <laughs> I, I want to read a headline that says, Indian steals land from Indians? How the fuck is that? <laughs> oh <my laughs> Stay woke, man. America's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all racism is evil. It's not all evil. Some of it is bad, as in it doesn't hurt my feelings. <laughs> I was out one night and some guy was like, man, go eat some curry. I was like, why wouldn't I do that? <laughs> <laughs> some of it is bad in that it hurts people and kills people, but that kind never afflicts white people. Yeah. The kind that afflicts white people is hilarious. <laughs> white racism happens to white people all the time. They just don't know it, and it's very funny. <laughs> white people, since most of you are here, let me ask this question. <laughs> Have any of you ever gotten a bad coffee at Dunkin' Donuts? Because I haven't. I don't get it either. If you don't get that joke, which I don't think some of you do. <laughs> Here in the Northeast, we have this thing called Dunkin' Donuts, which is like Starbucks, but for people that don't have time for pleasantries in the morning. <laughs> no names given, no names taken. <laughs> Dunkin' Donuts motto. <laughs> in the Northeast, Dunkin' Donuts is run and operated by majority Indian people. Uh, Every Dunkin' okay. Donuts, when a white person walks in, there's a little switch underneath the counter. They say, hey, there's a Steve here. <laughs> and he's going to order a French vanilla, but give him a decaf hazelnut. <laughs> 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 Got to get them reparations one way or the other. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's a weird time to be an Indian person, you know, because I'm like, tell all my friends that are like engineers and shit, like, yo, just keep a low profile. But <laughs> sooner or later... These people that think Mexicans stole their jobs are gonna find out the Indians stole the jobs. <laughs> <laughs> I got a bunch of cousins on H1B visas right now, like, yeah, just keep blaming the Mexicans. <laughs> <laughs> oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> Tiny streets. <laughs> Weird time. Weird time uh, in this country, you know? Feels like at any moment, black and white people are about to go to war. And Indians are going to have to choose. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what side to be on, quite frankly. <laughs> it feels like mom and dad are getting divorced, you know? <laughs> and dad's really cool, but mom's got all the stuff, so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> Maybe we'll see dad on the weekend. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> Growing up, you know, as a brown person, you have, like, black thoughts, white thoughts, black experiences, white experiences, black thought of mine. I think Nicki Minaj is beautiful. Yeah. Right? Yes! Yes! Nice thought of mine. I know I cannot handle that woman. <laughs> yes. I sort of gave up on white play a long time ago. You know, when that song TikTok came out by Kesha. That was, uh, 
that marked the end of my caring about white problems. <laughs> oh my God. That's a song by a 19-year-old white woman who starts her first song ever with wake up in the morning feeling like P. Diddy. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me, what is it like to be a 19-year-old white woman and wake up <laughs> feeling like a 40-year-old black man? <laughs> 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 worth half a billion dollars. <laughs> I had a white friend tell me their name got misspelled at Starbucks. I was like, oh, boy, Philip, your name got misspelled. My name is Nimesh. <laughs> I once got Kumar. Has it happened to you? I swear oh. to <laughs> <laughs> I don't mess with Starbucks no more. <laughs> I walked into a Starbucks. I told a grown woman, hey, my name is Nimesh. She gave me a cup that said Kumar on it. <laughs> That's awful. And then she was like, chai latte, right? I was like, how the hell did you know? <laughs> I've embodied black stereotypes. I've embodied white stereotypes. Black stereotype, I love fried chicken. I eat it every day. White stereotype, I'm addicted to heroin. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. I didn't see that they say they say Indians are like the model minority. Like we've made a lot of progress. Because Indians do pretty well for themselves. I don't like that term progress. Because they only started like Indian people in this country in 1965, which means we didn't make progress. We just missed the majority of racism. Do you understand? <laughs> Indians were just waiting until shit with black people calmed down. They're like, eh, we'll come over now. That's, that's <laughs> <laughs> From 1911 to 1920, 3,000 Indian people like me in this country, but they called us Caucasians because they already had Indians, the Columbus kind. And, mm. and then from 1920 to 19. 65, they deported those 3,000 Indian people. Like, go back to Caucasia, we don't know what to do with you. Caucasia. Caucasia. Indian people, like, 45 years to study and prepare for white people. <laughs> and apparently what you guys really like is doctors and convenience stores. So now we just, oh that's God. all products. <laughs> I'm like her. Oh, you're all welcome for yoga. <laughs> you're welcome for yoga. I mean, if you know that, Hindu is a yoga thing. I mean, yoga is a Hindu thing. <laughs> <laughs> That's the greatest accomplishment Hindus have achieved in this country. We've convinced young white women that yoga is a real thing. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a real thing. Here, uh, put on these tight pants and bend over. It's good for you. <laughs> it's working, man. It's working. <laughs> yoga was invented when, some two, when two Indian dudes were hanging out in a corner. They saw some dog bent over, and they're like, you know who looked really good doing that? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Some Indians don't know how good we have it. I got a phone call the other day from a telemarketer in India. Deep Indian accent, like heavy. He's like, hello, can I speak to Nimesh Patel? This is Jeff. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> it's like no, it's not, brother. <laughs> First of all, no dude named Jeff has ever pronounced Nimesh correctly. <laughs> Second of all, you're calling Nimesh Patel. Talk to me, brother. What's going on, man? How's your life? <laughs> it's weird, man. We're pretty much white, I think, in that we can be anything in this country. Doctors, scientists, mathematicians, engineers, until one of our kids builds a clock. Uh, so. If you don't know that story, uh, so a yeah. brown kid in Texas built a clock, yeah, yeah. and they suspended him because they said it looked like a bomb. Oh, that's right. I saw it, did, clock. Though. it did look like a bomb. <laughs> <laughs> you deserve to be suspended. <laughs> you can't build a clock and bring a screw, you brown idiot. Don't you know this is America? <laughs> oh, oh, my God. God. Don't you know what time it is? Keep your clock at home, man. <laughs> <laughs> build a volcano. <laughs> but you got Obama. He ain't got a full scholarship to MIT. He did? Which makes me think it was a plan. <laughs> I think his dad was like, my son is a genius, but I can't afford to send him to college. Ah. We're going to build a bomb clock. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to bring him to school and ride that white girl to the White House. <laughs> <laughs> like, why did I study for the SATs? I could have just strapped a calculator to my chest and be like, surprise! <laughs> I <made a> calculator! <laughs> Let's go to school. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> pretty much white, except when it comes to dating. Like, Indian dudes aren't sexualized. No. No, Indi no woman gets ready. He's like, I'm going to snag me a Sanjay this evening. That, <laughs> that don't happen. <laughs> it's fine. It's okay. My girlfriend's white, obviously. Yeah. Obviously? <laughs> I feel like there's a vibe of Indian dudes 
that have been gentrified, and I think I embody that vibe. <laughs> <laughs> my girl's white. I get the white struggle a little bit. You know, it's mostly hangovers and avoiding carbs, from what I understand. <laughs> 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 it don't seem that difficult. <laughs> it's not for lack of interest in Indian women. It's just when I started out comedy as an open mic, I would try to date Indian women. Like, yeah, I do comedy. And they would be like, oh, I'm a surgeon. This is not going to work out for you. <laughs> yeah. I was like, oh, you're right. <laughs> it's fine, though. But having a white girlfriend is weird with Indian women around because they all think I'm a race traitor. Ooh. Every Indian woman that sees me with my white girlfriend is like, I'm going to tell your mother. <laughs> and every Indian guy is like, how'd you do it? <laughs> oh, my God. I told her I was Puerto Rican. She don't know, man. <laughs> I've been studying Spanish for three years. <laughs> don't get me wrong. You know, I'm racist against my own people. I take a lot of Ubers. Oh my <laughs> Drunk. <laughs> the other night, I was hammered, and I got into a black car. Because it was being driven by an Indian dude. Oh, no. I was like, hey, man, this is where I need to go. And he was like, who the hell are you? <laughs> <laughs> he was like, nope. I was like, my bad, dude. <laughs> oh, God. Indian dude should not have black Toyota Camrys at 3 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> but then he drove me home. The shit was dope, brother. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, what a fun one experience. Google result if you Google Nimesh Patel. <laughs> And that's a huge accomplishment <laughs> because there's so many Nemeshes in this country. <laughs> there's so many Nemeshes in America that one time I had an ex-girlfriend that broke up with me and literally her next boyfriend was named Nemesh. Oh. That's more personal than it is for me. <laughs> 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 but I'm the number one Good Google result if you Google Nimesh Patel. And my mom Googled me the other day. She said, Nimesh, you're the number one Google result if you Google Nimesh Patel. I said, you're goddamn right. <laughs> <laughs> and then she said, every other Nimesh Patel is a doctor. Where'd I go wrong? And she hung up the phone. Oh, <laughs> 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 my dad is a cool dude. My dad, I found out recently, is the kind of guy that goes to the gym and follows around someone who's hired a personal trainer and just does those exercises. <laughs> That's smart. <laughs> just watch him. Why would I pay right. for this? This guy's doing his sales. <laughs> <laughs> no, I kind of want to do that. I know, right? I was like, hmm, that seems smart. <laughs> I love that guy. He's so weird. <laughs> it's a weird time being an Indian person. You don't feel like anyone cares about Indian people. I don't think they do. I was at those Oscars last year when there was that controversy that there were no black nominees. I went to that show. There were no Indian nominees. Mm. We didn't even get a hashtag. <laughs> <laughs> You'll never see a movie called 12 Years a Med Student. That'll never be a film. <laughs> <laughs> 18 Years a Liquor Store Cashier. That's a real struggle. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, that was good. Yeah, guys, please go check out Namesh <laughs> Patel. He's got so many good, so many good stand-up videos. It's all he does, and he kills it every time. Uh, yeah. Yep. I love comedy. Yeah, so I'm glad I, I we can watch this. Comedy. There's I some more yeah. I want to make Elise watch that I think she'll enjoy. I don't uh, ever seek it out, but I enjoy it while it's on. Yeah. Yeah, I've right. noticed that. Every time I've brought up comedy, you're like, yeah, meh. Like, you it, like it, but you're take just Take it like, or leave it. Yeah, yeah but I'll he was laugh. funny. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that was good. Yeah. I, I love yeah. comedy so much. I love seeing it live, being a part of it, trying it, getting yelled at. Mm. And I love that it. Noah loves oh, yeah. comedy, too. Oh, like, yeah. Noah will actively be like, ah, what do I got to do to make my class laugh? Like, yeah. he realizes he's not doing something right, you know? And he's like, I just got to figure out what is funny to them, you know? <laughs> it takes really after cute. his dad. Yeah. <laughs> cool with that i like it mm -hmm. guys right. go ahead and hit the like button and we'll see you for the next one bye bye what is an icy is it like a slushy